Hello, man. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine? Fine, not bad. How about you? That's cool. So far, so good. How was your week? Yeah, not bad. I I was uh -huh. studying for my exam. Yeah. Proficiency, maybe, you know, boss. Just... Yeah. I don't know their examination, but I know what proficiency exam is. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Can you see these uh, sentences, everything clearly or like uh, kind of vice versa? I mean, upside down, I mean. Everything in clear. your screen? Yes, yes. Everything is clear. I just I just see YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. No, no, and no. Teacher I, may send. Yes. Can you below. read that? Can you read all of those yeah. stuff? Readable. Okay. Wanna join? Fill out the form. That's true. Just That's true. Okay, okay. That's true. Yeah. I mean, some people are using the laptop. In that case, with telephone, you can read the QR codes and then you can be over there. I don't think that a lot of people would understand it, but yeah, in case <laughs> if they are. Uh, good evening, Peter. Good evening, man. Good evening. If they are simply uh, familiar with technology a bit, yeah, in that case, they can easily. Yeah, a teacher, I also see, I have seen that your PDF, it was well prepared. <laughs> yes, of that course. That was good. It was, uh, it took a lot of time of mine again to create but not overnight a couple of days step by step yeah it was well prepared right you like that yeah that's cool but you will prepare that just once right and the next time you're gonna copy it yeah that's just... true only a couple of uh, parts will be replaced yeah yeah the yeah. questions, the blah, questions blah, blah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly, uh, but the, the flags are remaining the same. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, let me put these two guys uh, into a kind of place. Hold on a second. Hey, Sam, how was your weekend? Actually, week week. I mean, very busy. Like, uh, I have classes sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening, and uh, sometimes, uh, of course, I have some free time in that case i try to create some rooms for people to join and see what's going on in instagram and youtube i saw that uh, you met with some teachers yeah i'm gonna watch it later <laughs> yeah definitely watch that because the topic is a really popular topic like everybody is specifically non-native speakers are looking for an answer for the question yeah i recognize that yeah yeah is it for example we will say should we sound like native speakers to uh to be considered fluent or not i mean yeah, the importance of accent yeah, yeah 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 and i invited a couple of uh, native teachers they are well known uh mm -hmm. on uh, instagram specifically and they talk I just try to just kind of uh, arrange the uh, discussion because there are a lot of things that you have to deal with. Apart from that, yeah, it was really long, but it is worth watching and listening at least. Yeah, definitely watch that. You will be receiving a kind of message like uh, enter the breakout room and join. Join the breakout room and you can start talking and speaking. But, but there is no people. I mean, you have to wait for a couple of minutes, then they will join. People, so why don't you, you, you won't join with us? Sorry? Over there. I try, I try. You know, I am like a manager right now. People are joining, and I have to send them to the specific places. That's why. Uh, I thought you will teach us something. No, I am not teaching anything here. It's like a kind of, uh, how can I say, speaking. Practice session. Yeah, yeah, conversation. 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 Uh, Hello. Hello, teach. Hi, how man. can I know uh, uh, I'm improving in English? How can I know? How can you know whether you're improving or not? Yeah. That is really difficult question to answer. It is... Uh, it, it, it depends on you. I, I mean, um, how you feel 
let's say, do you, do you feel comfortable? Can you express yourself easily? Or you still have some problems understanding others or communicating with others? Teacher, send me somewhere. No, okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I am going to send you to a specific place. Holy moly. Uh, yes, hello guys again. Hello teacher. Hello teacher. Why you're so silent? I thought you were talking about something. You were just waiting for you. Really? If you wait for me, you're going to be a loser. <laughs> uh, normally, you should, you know, proceed the conversation. Uh, of course, it depends. Sometimes people are not in the good mood um, to talk. Sometimes they are tired. Sometimes they are embarrassed. Different, different reasons. Uh, sometimes because there are lots of lots of people in one specific group. So you don't have the chance to speak. And specifically, as you may read, I don't know how much of that PDF you read. Uh, a couple of, um, a while ago, there was, there were a couple of people who were really uh, nagging about the Zoom meetings, not just here, but everywhere. Uh, they say that, you know, for example, we are using, we are opening the camera and we are talking to people who are not using the camera, even no picture, no nothing, no name. It seems to yeah. be that we are talking to the ghost and they say, teacher, we find it so rude and disrespectfulness. <laughs> but I, I would say, yeah, they are right somehow. Of course, I never oblige people to just force them to open the camera. It is a kind of choice and privacy and whatever. That's why I try to put people with camera in one room and without camera in another room so that they can speak and talk. That is it. Uh, but there is no other problem with that. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can start the conversation. I mean, you too. Both of you are really good. And you can improve yourself and learn from each other, right? Yeah, no problem. But I thought uh, there are some different reasons, uh, such as a nationality or accent or maybe more specific problems. You mean? Yeah, I was I was waiting for that. Uh -huh. It depends on the uh, participation, so to speak. Uh, it is a, it is somehow uh, kind of um, randomly happening. Sometimes there are different people. Sometimes there are no people. Sometimes there are only Indians or only Turkish. Uh, but in any case, you need to be able to continue um, having the kind of conversation. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're learning from each other. And uh, yeah, sometimes you have to deal with some really difficult accents because uh, if because easy... Easy um, has been solved. Easy thing has been solved. That is, there's no problem. But difficult is, uh, difficult situation is really the case. Yeah, we have, we to, have to push push ourselves. Yeah, Absolutely. you're right. You definitely need to push yourself to uh, just form the conversation. Yeah. Okay. You have the questions. You can start yes. talking about today. The questions is. Um, or the topic is about friends, friendship. This breakout room spent our most of the time. Yeah, I mean, because people are not joining, uh, they, they are not normally punctual. Uh, so I, you know, right now there's another person. Uh, they keep joining and I have to guide them uh, into different rooms, that's why. You would like to ask me random questions or these questions? Yeah, random question. I mean, it is up to you. Yes. Mustafa, right. could you please answer number 12? Number 12? Yeah, I I wonder your, okay. your opinion. Or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, is it possible, I think? Why not? Just not romantic or uh, relationship friend, we can say. Uh, is it possible? And how about yeah. what do you think about this fiction? I think so. But there are some people that maybe disturbs a lot. 
to see that and they are so rude yeah, i don't know it's not like our con contemporary mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. what about other questions teacher by the way this question is so good so good yeah i mean they are some somehow uh designed in a way that uh people let's say students can can continue the conversation that's why and from one question you can go to another place to another door and there's no limits right but yeah. let's say before looking at the question imagine that it is my own perspective my own strategy i i first i look at the topic what is the topic it is about the friend so first we need to talk about friend what is friend what is friendship and then maybe we can start asking some questions uh, so let me ask that what do you think that i mean who is a friend what is friend or who is a friend what do you think yeah i think friend is somebody you share your ideas your time your mm -hmm. maybe love and this is maybe your hobbies can be common mm -hmm. this is friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not close but friend not close it's but just, not. yeah not every friend is close and yeah this the way i think mm -hmm. what about mustafa what do you think about the friend who is a friend or what friend. is a friend the friend who is uh, spending with your time together Mm -hmm. that, uh, just meeting or uh, calling, uh, chatting, or mm -hmm. other activities. Mm -hmm. That's all. Is a friend. Yes. Okay, you're right, both of you. But the question is, um, I mean, sometimes mostly, I don't know. We, me included, maybe, but I try to avoid using that. People say, "Hello, my friend. Good morning, my friend." But you don't know anything about that person you automatically say, hi, friend, good morning, friend. If, imagine like on, on Zoom, you're talking to somebody for the first time and you are addressing that person like as a friend. But what is the difference? I mean, you call everybody like a friend, right? So what is this? Is that a kind of um, sort of uh, misconception? I mean, the, the definition of friend, friend or friendship is a kind of misconception or... Uh, misinterpretation. What is it? What do you think about that? I think this is a polite way or kind way. The uh -huh. person or people uh, who is not recognizing uh -huh. them. Okay, that's why people say. Ah, that's why. Know, you, mean, you you mean this is a kind of really polite way of addressing people to. Mm, to form that closeness maybe right or maybe if you, if you ask me i would say yeah we we call others friends to form a kind of intimacy intimacy means closeness yeah and friendship or to make them feel free to talk to us rather than just being um how can i say i cannot find the words proper word for that um, just just keeping themselves do not or wearing some specific masks and not revealing their own uh, self maybe right yeah. yeah being anonymous yeah yeah maybe they they, they try to be uh, like anonymous in order to not uh, approaching you not coming closer yeah. to you right mm -hmm. we just want to break that that barrier between us and those people, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, if you ask me, how many friends do you have? I mean, of course, the definition of friend for me is completely different. At least um, comparing myself to others, to m most of the people, you know, the friend should be, re should be somebody who, can, who I can trust or yes. who, Oh, I can mm, share 
uh, not all of my private privacy, but at least some of them, some secrets. But I cannot share all of the secrets, all of my uh, mindsets, even opinions easily to everybody, right? So it is not possible. So I don't have a lot of friends then. Limited number, yeah. I don't need a lot of friends. Mostly who I know or they know me, this is this relationship is like acquaintance. We are acquaintances, yeah. Acquaintance yeah. means you know that person and he or she knows you. That is it. Relationship, teacher, no relationship. Yeah, I think sometimes uh, friendship brings some responsibilities too. Exactly. And that may be tiring. That is tiring. Exactly. I mean, um, definitely responsibilities will come and you are responsible. Responsible yeah. for both of the sides. Like if wh whenever your, your friend has uh, r some rainy days in his or her life, you have to be with those people. You have to be, as I mean, aside them, right? But, or, or whenever they are so um, happy, you should be happy for them too. Yeah, huge responsibility. But for acquaintance, I don't, I don't feel that urge to be that much responsible. Maybe just a, a couple of words is enough. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. I don't need to. This is my opinion. I don't know. Maybe you have different opinions about it. Is it that, I mean, that is not possible. How, how is it possible? Let's say this guy on, let's say that platform has 1 million people. 1 million. I mean, do you know, imagine if you say hello, one word, hello to 1 million people, it takes like 1 million seconds at least. Yes. Not possible, man. It is not possible. And uh, personally, I don't, I am not looking for uh, such situation in my life. I, I cannot really. Acquaintance, acquaintance relationship. Yeah. Or for example, how many friends do you have? Halit, for example. And your friend Ahmed that didn't come, right? Yeah, he, he was in the exam today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I texted him and he said he was tired. <laughs> I cannot, I can't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, I in the high school I I had to be a social person. Uh -huh. because uh -huh. I was studying in dormitory, my school's dormitory and really? in high school. Mm. Yeah. I used to have so many friends. <laughs> it, it was an obligation because ah, if yeah. you if you if you don't have something, you need to ask for somebody. That's true. To get and yeah, it it provide me with some socializing skills. That's true. I, I had around 100 friends <laughs> yeah i i gained so many friendship uh -huh. there and that, that was good but not most of them uh -huh. still continue yeah, are, yeah, yeah of course they are like yeah. temporary they're not permanent yeah for yeah. example that, that, that was sad exactly for example speaking of friendship when i was a soldier right when i was a soldier uh we had like, I mean, a humongous amount of friends. But uh, again, again, we have to understand the definition of friend. They weren't like friends, but uh, how can I say? They were acquaintances or a kind of maybe uh, very um, quick, uh, let's say temporary, temporary friends. Yeah, short time friendship. Short time friendship, absolutely. So that is not really important, right? Yeah. What about Mustafa? Mustafa wanted to say something. Go ahead. <laughs> right now, I, actually, I don't have much friend teacher in uh -huh. real life. Maybe 10 or uh, 15 months. Right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or chatting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or just chatting. So No, I, I am asking about the real friend. I mean, real, real life yes, friend. Yes, yes, real. A couple of, you said? Yeah. <laughs> 10 or maximum 15, you can say. Exactly, me too. Yes, so do pretty I. Pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. 
pretty much the same. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. You can ask the questions. Maybe you can start asking a question. And teacher, I think uh, losing some friends make you feel more adorable, more adult. And how can you explain it, that? I think yeah, you trust somebody, and it was you understand that it was fake, and you learned something, and that makes you feel more adult than you was. Than you were, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it improves you on some skills. Some actually, maybe for example, you you've learned that you shouldn't have to, you, know, you shouldn't trust mm -hmm. everybody, and mm -hmm. something like that. And sometimes you learn you shouldn't give all of your attention let's say yeah attention information. and <laughs> information and objects you had to your friends and what do you think about that mustafa go ahead <laughs> yes you're right especially the part of uh, yeah you shouldn't have sorry we shouldn't give uh, information on the another things uh, that's this part of it. i accept my friend is but that's say. true that's true okay. you're right i mean um I, I, not just from friendship but the whole life mm -hmm. everything ev every single um day we are learning something by gaining some experiences uh of course a friend uh, i mean the role of a friend in our life is really uh, tremendous i i mean we cannot deny that uh but yeah partially at least partially or maybe mostly i i see eye to eye with you on that thing on that one which means uh you're right i mean a friend's role is humongous incredible and the pain that doesn't kill you makes you stronger <laughs> absolutely man absolutely uh but the life can show a lot of stuff to you. Um, yes. Some people who you consider them as real friends can turn out to be uh, completely kind of enemy, maybe, or uh, yeah. I don't know. It depends. It depends on maybe your luck or uh, their personality as well as your personality. All of these stuff are mingled to each other and they're related, right? Yeah. Question 10. Do you have any friends from a different culture or country? Yeah. Thanks to teacher Maysam, I had so many friends <laughs> from these Zoom chats, uh -huh. you know. Exactly. <laughs> International yeah. ones, I hope. Yeah. yeah. Teacher, as you know, Michael and the Brazilian guys, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I had... I awesome. still keep in touch them, yeah. Ah, that's awesome. I'm so happy. Of course, why not? Uh, I mean, having friendship, at least, I would say, maybe, I am not sure, maybe in the future you can have a kind of chance to go and meet them or they can come over here and meet, I mean, with you. But the point is, at least you are learning a lot uh from their culture yeah. from their even accent uh, it can be they i mean their accents can be understandable or challenging and you are polishing your knowledge you're polishing your speaking abilities i would say right is that is cool. awesome we met some friends from all over the world yeah Teacher, as you know our last meeting we we have learned a lot from lucas from <laughs> brazil yeah yeah did, did you remember I, the pronunciation and their culture, their uh -huh. history. Yeah, I kind of remember a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. yeah. I asked the question of like uh, the the pronunciation of R, right? Yeah. 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 That's true. And yeah, this is so, good. yeah, so, so uh, strange somehow, positively strange, but, um, and uh, that strangeness makes you somehow happy i mean 
it's new because that is something new, right? Learning yeah. those things, figuring out those, uh, uh, you know, things can, can be joyful. That's why you, you always remember that, right? Which is, which is a good thing. Yeah. So do you have any different culture friends? Asking me, what do you mean? Let, for example, what kind of cultural friends? Teacher, I think you have already had a lot of friends <laughs> from different cultures, right? Be because you're a teacher. Acquaintances. Yeah. I mean, yeah, as I said, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, the, the, the definition of friend, friend or friendship for me is totally different. Uh, in order to put people into friend list, uh, I mean, they have to pass the test, <laughs> which is so <laughs> difficult. Which is so difficult, right? But nobody of them, is, yeah, nobody of them passed the test yet. No, 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 no. Actually, uh, I mean, when you get older, okay, get older, like um, your your mentality, your mindset automatically uh, changes, right? Yeah. Uh, the test uh, gets harder. The test gets harder, or even maybe you don't you don't even need any friend. Any more yeah. friend, right? I mean, that mindset. So uh, the meeting is finishing, I mean, ending, people are joining, you know? Interesting.